Today we are celebrating a major anniversary here at Six News. 50 years ago this month, John Nicely began his journey in broadcasting. So make sure you tune in all evening long. We're going to have a lot of special look backs at some of John's big stories and revisit some of his most favorite memories. John, congratulations. How are you feeling? <laughs> Uh, kind of weird being interviewed. <laughs> I know. Roles are reversed here today. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, you stop and think when uh, you know an anniversary rolls around. So yeah. a lot going through my head. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine 50 years. Yeah, I should tell you the story. I was telling you before he went on the air, but the first time I was ever on TV, I was right out of college. Mm -hmm. It was on the weekend. I was doing the sports and I supposed to have four minutes of copy. It was paper back then. It was Wally Dean was the anchor. He was right next to me. And uh, he got up and left when I started. So I'm reading my sports. I'm starting to realize I'm running out of copy <laughs> and he wasn't there. And so I started reading real slow and he still wasn't there. And finally I finished and he wasn't sitting there. So I took my papers and stacked them. You always do that. Yeah, yeah. I looked up and I said, we'll be right back. Wow. I looked up and I was still on camera. <laughs> <laughs> so that I did it again. That long awkward pause. Uh, we never came back. That was the end. Yep, yep. I mean, Wally and didn't get out there in time, so. That is pretty First funny. time. First time on TV. Hey, I mean, you've come a long way since then, right? And I believe so. And many people so. may not know you started in sports. Yeah, I did sports for a long time until 1992, from 74 to 92. Then switched to news, and I, it's been a good move for my family, my wife, Certainly. Sue, and she's always got used to my hours yep. all these times. She's yeah. an angel. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right, John. So any uh, main stories that you reflect on when you think back? One that's very significant. I went down and interviewed Robert Williams, who was on death row for 20 years in Lincoln. Uh, there was the last appeal for his execution. And while I sat there to go do the interview, the word came down. The Supreme Court said, no, he would be executed on Monday. This was Friday. When I walked in, it's not what I expected. He was at total peace. Mm. And he shared the story how when he was captured after killing three people, uh, he was like treated like an animal. A guy at the cell door was, not, was asking, who's in there? And they said, Robert Williams. And they said, you don't want to go in there. He said, no, I want to go in there. And he said, when I heard this guy come in and with that conversation, I knew he was different. Well, all he did was share the Bible with him. Uh, Robert had never heard anything religious in his life. He became a Christian and he had a ministry for like 15 years on death row, not just in the state pen, but around the, the nation. Wow. And so when they did execute him, uh, he was at peace. He tried to make everybody feel comfortable, the 10 witnesses. And uh, he said, I'm going home. And it was remarkable. So that's the most significant story I've wow. ever done. Wow. I mean, that, that hits you right here. Just it seeing does. a change of heart in someone. Yeah, he had a purpose in life and he lived it right to the end. Wow. That well, was wonderful. Yeah, sounds like it. You always tell us about your John at Works. Yes. It sounded like a lot of fun. Uh, there's been a lot of those, yeah. Um, up to the top of our tower, uh, wow. Blue Angels ride, and there's so many of them driving a Bobcat, working on the Woodman Tower downtown, the new, uh, the new First National building. Yeah. So. How much time do we have? <laughs> we can go on and on. Well, we have got the rest of the evening, fortunately, to share more memories from your awesome career. Yeah. So make sure you guys stay tuned. We have a really special story coming up at 5 o'clock. So, John, it's an honor to work with you. We're excited to celebrate you. I love working with long. you and the whole crew. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, let's go over to Emily for a check on the forecast. Yeah, speaking of John at work, he always likes to say he's a part of the weather team. I've yet to see him do the forecast. So, John, you're just a few feet away. You're welcome to come on over and help me out. We are tracking some rain. This is a welcome sight for a lot of us. It's been incredibly dry, gloomy picture out across the metro, and it looks like we are on track to add a little bit more to the rain gauge. That's going to push us over the edge, and hopefully we do not make that record of the driest September and October. So today has been a very significant round of rain. Our severe weather threat that's been moving out, and here's right John. In this area here. I just want to say that I can't <laughs> It Thanks takes it takes a special occasion to get you out.